I'm about to show you how Maxim's Buck Boost outperformed the competition. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to Design Shop. My name is Kevin Nguyen. I'm an Applications Engineer in the Mobile Power Business Unit here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm here to talk about Maxim's Buck Boost line of products, more specifically the Max 77816 and its advantages over products that are similar on the market. The Max 77816 features both boost and buck modes of operation, targeting single cell lithium ion battery powered mobile applications and for a wide output voltage range between 2.6 volts to 5.14 volts. The IC also features up to 4 amps of continuous output load current in buck mode and up to 3 amps of continuous current in boost mode and also features a peak efficiency of 97.5%. So the one feature that I'd like to talk about today that sets the Max 77816 apart from its competitors is uh, the true seamless transition between the two modes of operation, buck and boost mode. Um, so to do so, we're going to take a look at the line transient response uh, of our competitor and also of our own and see how it compares. So on the left here, we have a competitor board mounted with their IC. And on the right, we have the Max 77816. So with the line transient response, we're going to take a look at a, a pulse from the input between 3 and 4 volts. Um, so we'll take a look at that on the oscilloscope here once I trigger off the function generator. So as you can see, we're going to be going between 3 volts up to 4 volts. And I would consider this to be an extreme test for buck boost due to the fact that we're going to be transitioning between the two modes of operation. We're going to be going uh, from boost mode because we're going to be 3 volts in, 3.3 volts out. 4 volts in, 3.3 volts out will make us into buck mode. And then we're going to transition back into boost mode um, at 3 volts in. So both of these boards, just to clarify, they're configured to be 3.3 volts at the output. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the line transient response of our competitor's board first. So we'll go ahead and uh, probe put channel 1 onto the output of our competitor's board. So let me go ahead and remove this so that we can probe it here. Come on. There we go. Let me make sure channel 2 is in at the input. And let's go ahead and take a look at the line transient response once I probe at the input. So on the oscilloscope, we can see an overshoot of about 66 millivolts and an undershoot of about 58 millivolts. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the line transient response of the Max 77816. So first off, let's go ahead and power everything off. I'm going to go ahead and put channel 2 to probe the input of our evaluation kit here. We're going to move the power for our evaluation board. And then we're going to go ahead and utilize the ground loop for this measurement. So one thing to note is that we're going to be probing the output with this ground loop, and it's an inferior way of probing the output voltage, um, but since I believe we're going to see a significant difference in uh, performance regardless, uh, we'll just probe it in this manner. So let's probe the output here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at line transient performance. So let me turn this on. So as we can see on the oscilloscope, we're now only seeing about 35 millivolts of overshoot and 39 millivolts of undershoot. So you're probably wondering, why do Maxim's Buck Boost perform significantly better than our competitors? Um, it's pretty simple, really. Um, our Buck Boosts uh, show minimal signs of overshoot and undershoot because our converter architecture allows for a cycle-by-cycle -cycle decision to be made to be in either boost mode or buck mode. 
And with only two modes of operation and a fixed frequency, switching frequency of 2.5 megahertz, the transient response is extremely fast. A lot of other buck boost architectures on the market have that third phase or, or bypass mode that uh, slows down the transient response, which overall degrades the system performance. So if you're ever considering a buck boost um, with top of the line transient performance, smallest solution size, and an overall highest efficiency across the entire input voltage range and load current range, there isn't really any competition. Um, not to mention there's also an integrated I2C interface and DVS functionality. For more information regarding the Max77816 and other buck boosts similar to this, please visit maximintegrated.com slash max77816. Thanks for watching.